So Wicked Awesome Gardener asked me to post the five things I will always grow and the five things I will not grow. So five things that I always grow, I'm gonna go over first, then I'll get into the five things I won't grow. Um, the first one that I'm walking up to in the field garden here is garlic. Like I will always grow garlic and I have over 300 garlic heads growing. So the next thing that I will always grow, and this is a new one for me in the last couple years, I absolutely love them. I have eight trays at, started out here in our hoop house. Onions, again, we cook with them constantly. So our goals for our garden is to try to be uh, self-sufficient or sustainable with a few specific plants. Um, so our goal this year is to go a full year without buying onions. The next thing that I will always grow is lettuce greens. And so out here in the hoop house, down here, I've got mustard greens. I've got um, some lettuce started in here. I've got kale started that we're gonna eat as baby um, spring mix, mixed in. Um, and I've got some lettuce in the green stock. So the next item I will always grow will be tomatoes. Um, we make all our own tomato sauce, all our own salsas, all our own um, taco sauces. The last thing is peppers. And this covers sweet peppers, hot peppers, and anchos, poblados. And we will always grow peppers in our garden. For the ones that I will not grow, this is a really hard list for me actually, um, because I can get into specific varieties that I don't want to grow anymore. Um, but mostly, um, I think I, I will try to get it into categories. Um, so a lot of it is based on our what we actually like to eat. So we grow for ourselves, my husband and I. Um, and so we want to make sure that what we're growing actually makes sense for what we're going to eat and what can go into the pantry. And so um, with that, uh, I won't do uh, turnips. I won't do um, uh, radishes. I don't like either. He doesn't like very much. Um, I, that's number two. Um, number three. This is, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I don't actually like melons, but I may be growing some because I got some free seeds and I think it would be kind of fun to try it on the trellis. Um, so from an experiment side, that might be fun, but, um, but typically I won't grow um, like cantaloupe and things like that. I do grow watermelon. Um, I won't grow um, cilantro again. We grew a ton of it last year and I don't really like it. Um, I thought I was gonna dry some, never really did that. And it's not Jay's favorite. And so um, we didn't even put it in our salsas. So something else I won't grow. And kohlrabi is another one that it's just not our thing. Um, so that's, I think, five. Um, not a great list probably for everybody. Some of the things that I would call out that I probably won't do it again are ones that I probably won't do in the next few years. Um, things like cabbage, um, cauliflower. Um, my husband wants to do broccoli. I really hate the cabbage worms. Um, we did Brussels sprouts a few years ago. We probably won't do those for another few years until I expand the field garden again or adjust our spacing and make sure that I have full covers, um, bug covers from the time I plant them. Um, uh, Roma tomatoes, 
Um, they're a determinant type of paste tomato that has really bad blight usually around here. Um, and because they're determinant, they all come at once, and then if you get blight also early, you pretty much don't have any produce out of those. Um, so I'm switching into a different type of paste tomato this year, um, a few different tri trial ones to see if I can find a better indeterminate type of paste tomato. Um, there's also some peppers we probably won't do that we just don't like the flavor for some of those super hot and hot peppers. Um, it's all by, by flavor though, it's not really things that I don't want to grow. And then there's some flowers also that I could add in here that um, things like morning glories that are really invasive. Um, there are some illegal plants here in, um, in Massachusetts due to the invasive nature of them. Um, so I'm obviously not going to plant those. Um, so knowing what's going to impact the nature around you is really important. Um, so I would recommend putting those on your do not uh, grow lists as well.